<laughs> uh, Liam. Hello. My boy Ty, I'm sitting here with uh, the hitman. It smells a bit like a wine. <laughs> uh, good to see you, man. We're here at the um, Urban Kings. It's a, it's a very nice gym. It's you and the uh, Glory uh, press event. How you doing? Yeah, doing, doing really good. Um, just like to say, I've been attempting to hit some pads there for the, oh, yeah, the I'm Glory. I'm going to throw that footage out. Pardon? I'm going to throw that footage out. Oh, yeah. Oh, please, dog. It's terrible. <laughs> Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm good apart from feeling a bit, it's not even time for a hangover yet, I haven't even kicked in yet, I'll probably come in about 10 minutes. <laughs> um, who, uh, it's March 23rd, 21st? Yeah, 23rd. 23rd. Who are you fighting? Um, I'm fighting against Mossab Amrani from yeah. Uh, Morocco, yeah, yeah, Holland, Morocco, yeah, Dutch Moroccan. He, uh, he's got a very similar fighting style, and this, well, he's, he's, he's got a lot of hands. Yeah. Are you doing anything different from him? Um, no, I'm just going to fight my fight, really. Um, I fought against a lot of strong punches before, uh, more Kamal, Lanoa, etc. Um, I went through this with Jordan earlier, the rule, so you, there is clinch. Yeah, as long as you're working in the clinch, they've said they'll let it go. Uh, five seconds. Yeah, five seconds, yeah. Catch kicks. Yep. Which, you don't really catch that many kicks. I, I do, really, yeah, I, I do, but I, to be honest, I can't free it. See Mossab throwing a lot of body kicks for me to catch, to be honest. I don't think that, in this fight, I don't think that would be much of a factor. Um, and then obviously, if it's anything like the other events, they're going to reward the person who's pushing the action. So do you feel like that's your favourite? Because he pushes. Yeah, yeah. To be honest, I think we're just going to go bang like that because I'm not going to go back. He's not going to go back. Um, the thing that I think will win it for me is I'm a bit smarter than him. So when it comes down to it, if it just turns into an all-out brawl and there's not anyone to clear when I can change my game plan. I can pick my shots a bit better than him, I think. And... Um, I think him just walking forward trying to knock me out will be his downfall. I think so. Um, are you going to be training, are you going to stay here? Are you going back to Giddy or are you going to... No, no, I'll be training here with, um, with Richard and Jordan because Jordan fights on, as you've interviewed him already, he fights on the same show against Steve Moxon as well. So I'll just train together with Jordan like I usually do when we're over here. Perfect. Um, got this and then do you have anything lined up for April? Um, no, nothing for April. And then we won't talk about it, but you have a possible fight. Yeah, I, well, I've, I've signed my contract okay. now. I've signed for um, the, the Glory Tournament in Japan on March 4th, I think it is. Uh, May 4th, sorry. Um, some big prize money to be won for that one. So I'll be gonna, uh, I think it's $100,000 for the winner and 50000 for second place. So um, it's, it's, nice like, day, yeah, it's like $100,000 is life changing money. So, yeah, yeah. And obviously, if you win that, then your purse for the, for the rest of the year goes up as well. So. What, um, how many, is it four man? Eight man, yeah. eight man, yeah. Uh, who else? Well, um, I, mean, I think there's going to be, actually, be it out, yeah, yeah. Yeah. I'm not too sure to be honest right now, I think it's just speculation until the actual contracts go in, but I think there's fights from America, Japan, Korea, so it should be good. It's going to be legit. What about, all right, we're going we're gonna <laughs> to inevitably talk about your kryptonite, <laughs> uh, Sancha. Yeah. So, that was your last fight, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah, about six, seven weeks ago, that one. Uh, in Macau? Yeah. Whatever. What do you think? I mean, uh, you came on Facebook afterwards and you were like, it sounded like you were pretty dejected. But it's like, come on, man. It's like, well, well, at the end of the day, when you fight someone three times and they beat you every single time, you're going to be a bit down. No matter who it is, whether it's the, the best fighter on the planet, which he is, or whether it's like your next door neighbour, if you lose to someone three times, it's hard to take, you know what I mean? Um, especially when you work so hard trying to get the victory. Uh, at the end of the day, I've looked back here. I've, I've been in there three times with the best fighter on the planet. I've given him a good run for his money three times. It's not like I've been humiliated. He hasn't hurt me with anything. It's not like he... A lot of times when Sanchez fights, he, he has the chance to just take liberties out of his opponents, especially for ranked opponents. Um, and I've never let him do that on me. I've always let him know in the fight. In one of them, I've cut him as well with an elbow. So I suppose I can look back at it and say I had three, three good fights. I mean, the last one were probably the hardest because it were in his territory, that one. The other two were in my territory. Mm. And although he still won, the one in Thailand, I'd flew over, I'd, I'd a week in Thailand, I couldn't get used to the heat and everything, so I know how hard it is for him now when he's flying all over the world, just beating all these people easily. That may, that'd give me an, a bit more respect for him, mm. stepping into Asia to fight him, just to show how good he really is, that when he just flies all over the world and just beats people easily. So your third time, did you feel like, progressively from the first, second and third, that, not that it ever gets easy, obviously, but it became easier for you because you knew what, what's kind of, what to expect? 
No, because he's always got something different every time you fight him. I mean, the first fight... It's like fighting him for the, for the first time. Yeah, time. every time, because no matter what I do, well, and it might start working for maybe 30 seconds or a minute in the fight, and I'll stick with what I'm doing, and then all of a sudden he's got an answer for it and it doesn't work no more, then he's, he's gone up again to another level. I mean, at that time when I fought him, the last fight as well, he'd had something like three fights in six weeks or something. He'd been fighting every two weeks, and I thought his body might have a few little niggly injuries, he might be slowing down a little bit, and I just thought I'd try and... Smash him Smash. with low kicks um, and try and box. His head movement was better than ever and I couldn't really land any strong punches. And he just took all my low kicks, which not many people can do, to be honest. So, fair play to him. I mean, guy's a machine. Well, I, I hope, you know, you said that's the last time you're going to be fine. I, I, hope, I hope it's not. Yeah. I hope, you know, we'll get another chance, another crack at him. Yeah, wait till he's about 65 in his wheelchair. I might go sneak up, sneak up on him in old people's home and give him a jab. You heard that. <laughs> sleep, sleep a while. In the shower, even at picnics. Watch <laughs> your back. <laughs> he's coming. We're gonna, we're gonna be, uh, I'm gonna be. We're gonna. I'm gonna be there in uh, in March cheering you on. It'll be a good fight. Yeah, def on. definitely. Thank you. Well, Cheers, you Thank again. you. Yeah, it's good seeing you again. Later. So <laughs>